end of where Obelisk can join. I'm kind of actually just like not a fan of the Titan Crest anymore. It just takes too long. But like Pele yet? No, no, nobody close to Pele. Shinbi is probably the closest, but she doesn't really do the same thing that Shinbi that uh, Pele does. It's not really AOE; it's more single target. But Shinbi is probably the closest. And Graystone and Twin Blast. Well, Twin Blast ain't for a while. There is an offlaner coming in the, not this patch tomorrow, but the two weeks from tomorrow. Also, it's either Quang or Graystone, in my opinion. I don't know who else it would be. They haven't really teased anybody else. But Quang and Graystone were both in the Reddit vote. I would imagine it's one of those two. Could possibly be Graystone. I hope it's not. I hope it's Quang, but only so much you can do. Just slap the bitch. I should really not be pushing. Oh, I'm so bad. Yeah, I should really not be pushing because uh, I'm on the weak side. It's gonna be great, Stunk, so easy to just implement. I mean, is it easy though? Thank you for the follow, Pharaoh. I appreciate that. The thing with the thing with Greystone is that like he is kind of the same thing that Kwong has, where like they're probably gonna change one of his abilities because he had a passive original Paragon, right? So I think like either one, they're gonna have a new ability, and I think that's like interesting to think about because you never know what it's gonna be, right? So favorite mid laner, uh, probably Gideon. I think he's just the most enjoyable to play at the moment. The Fey, I, I enjoy playing the Fey too a lot. I, I like the Fey. I think she's a lot of fun. He has no dash. But not getting dash level 2 does to you. You have to be pushed further down the backlog due to some trailing effects. Interesting, I wonder what that means. Or who it was. I miss my abilities, dude. I'm trolling. I've been an unnamed character thus far. True. We'll see when, uh, right, everybody will be better to edit eventually, but we'll see uh, which character it is on probably like two weeks from now or so, whenever they release the next patch notes. Either way, I mean, it, as long as I could play them in general, I think it'll be fine. I just hope it's not a character that's like FaZe, where it's just like, FaZe is fun when you play her in the role that she plays, but she only plays one role, and I think that's kind of boring. I really hope, uh, there's like a multi role character. So I can play him jungle or play him mid or whatever. I wonder if he did cyan or not. Please quick cast or insta cast. I play with insta cast on everything. Bruh. 
I could never hit Shinbi, man. There are like abilities I would play with on quick cast, like Howitzer Q, for example. But uh, you can't set it individually for each character, so I just play on Insta on everything. Since the majority of characters, I would always play on Insta. There's a couple other abilities in the game like that, like phase, right click, I'd probably have one quick. But it's just a pain in the ass to switch it every game, so I just don't. This poor guy is getting dove in mid. Yo, D-Server bitch, dude. Thank you for the fucking resub, man. Welcome back to the bird nest, brother. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well today. Does he have alchemical rod? Interesting, interesting. Does that click works now? Yeah, you have to hold it though. You can't like insta hit it, right? I think it's kind of annoying. Got that I don't play phase, but it is a nice quality of life. But jump key F. I should really just ult. I don't know why I'm holding it so long. There's just no reason to hold it. Maybe I just up down for crest stacks. Actually, I'm gonna go flux. What's up, Solcita? What are you doing today? Pain. Suffering even. He's on science. I'm gonna try to deny him some XP. At the very least. Just be dead again. He is just dead. What kind of day will it be, you wonder? Not a winning day, not a winning day. That's alright, you come back strong, you come back strong. Taking a loss for us, so we could all win. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not. I promise, joking. It's not. Took the L for the gang. Just a team player. See, team player. Doing the Lord's work, honestly. I keep tanking those minions. They miss that CS. Speaking of CS, I'm down like 30 right now. Pain. 
Did I just get Muriel? I'm so confused. Did he shimby on me? I'm gonna go to a river. an actual combination of abilities there. Yo, I actually need the last hits though. Yo, you're kind of fucking my crest, dude. Oh, man. That's so bad. I actually needed that really bad. I mean, not much you can really do about somebody just leaving the game. We just carry anyways. We have Fire Blossom, honestly. I feel like I need more damage. Just report and move on. Alright, now we start Obelisk stacking. stacked. Easy 2v1. Fire Blossom stack Obelisk. Anything stats ob stacks Obelisk as long as you get the kill. You have to proc it with your auto attack first, but any as long as anything after that kills it, you get a you get a stack. Like a bad champion Clary. There's not even a Clary in the game. This guy's not even watching the same game as me, dude. Styled on, I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, this game is very winnable, even 3 4, or not 3 4, uh, 45. He's not cool down. He just like me for real.
kind of don't want to clear the wave too fast. Let's take my obelisk. Pain. Suffering even. I like the 1v1 off lane or 2v2 better. I didn't play original Paragon. I think a 2v1 lane just logically is not good. I just don't think there's anything interesting about a 2v1 lane. It seems more gimmicky than good. Because the way you have to balance something like that I think is not good. In my opinion. 3-3 three, three would be dope. I mean, it's... Definitely possible to just put that into the practice map. Although if they're not doing any UI stuff, realistically that's probably not coming. Oh, I didn't have flash up. I was gonna flash up over and kill him. Unfortunately. Jungle camp. I must go back. Hold this position. It's what we do uh, with the roar back today. Just to wait to play a very specific way. I mean, I just don't like the idea of like it's a 2v1, so you just guaranteed don't have pressure in the lane. I feel like it takes away a little bit of skill in the game. Like, I feel like you get skill by picking your characters to have pressure in a lane in a 2v1 or a 2v2. And then you play to the strength of the characters in the, like, from that position. I feel like if you're in a 2v1, even if you have, like, a strong soul laner, like, it just kind of defeats the purpose of picking a strong soul laner, because then you just don't have, like, you're not going to have pressure 2v1. It's just not realistic. Unless, like, it's just the amount of split XP is just so much in your favor that it's, like, not really balanced well, in my opinion. So I think either way you run into issues. Which will last longer. Yeah, I feel like it's just like you just end up picking a late game solo laner, right? I feel like that's what that would end up turning into. Or you just pick a character that can just clear the wave and then not play the game. Like you just play like a mage off lane. Also, it encourages playing under tower, which I'm also not really a big fan of. I feel like you should be proactive to get leads, not reactive. So I think if you're playing under tower, I think that's bad design. Like to be designed in a way that you play under tower, I think is bad. Talking about just got here. Talking about two v one lane in original Paragon. Somebody asked me if I preferred over one v ones. Yeah, I just can't see that being like fun for either side to be honest. It's like one guy is just sitting on a tower and the other team is just like, we just clear waves because he's sitting on a tower. <laughs> it just seems really boring. He's gonna stop me from stacking him.
Soul Bearer OP. Dude, I'm so tanky. Option B. Is I can play in jungle too right now. your ass beat. I'll take your flash. I must recharge. Um, I kind of wish the Countess would play left side so that I could play right side because I'm way stronger than anybody else on the map right now. I didn't see him go to Fang Pit, so I don't think they're on it. We have pretty good ward vision. Scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. I just cooked him. Where'd he go, dude? He's level 10? He is level 10. Where the fuck did he go, though? He's <laughs> These guys defend mid. Drifted away hard, true. I see what you did there. Dude, he didn't defend mid like I told him to. On for it. I'm gonna get my backstop too. Bro, that's so cringe. He actually gets that now. Hold this position. Does he? He actually doesn't. He's gonna pick enough wave. Attack. Pretty sure I'd 2v1 easily. These guys are just trying to split push. Not today. I feel like. Oh, it does. I was gonna say, I feel like Steel Wall should do damage to minions. It does. Never mind. Wait, no, that was my Fire Blossom. That was not the wall. Yeah, Steel Wall should do damage to minions. Change my mind. Dude, where is it? So there's no world breaker in here. Ready to strike. Drink some water. I got you, brother.
Thank you for the water. Much appreciated. Needed the refreshment. I'm on the way, boys. I kill everybody. Don't die, counter. Don't die to the counters. Damn that I was slapped him. Dude, I missed the auto attack, that's unfortunate. He got knocked up higher than I wanted to. I'll walk into the trap. For the boys, for the boys. I will return soon. Enemy tower under attack. They're mostly not sure my scrims. Uh, I would say not really. I, I record them in case they're like YouTube worthy, but usually like scrims aren't like that crazy. Like if they're good games and it's like games where I'm getting camped or something like that. So it's a little bit harder to use for like YouTube content, but I do try to put stuff for like YouTube. I don't stream them usually because usually when we scrim, it's like later in the day since most of the people on my team work during the day. I'm kind of like the outlier. So like I stream in the morning and then I'm not going to turn it on to stream for like an hour and a half for scrims usually. But most of my teammates stream them if you want to watch their perspectives. That's just like their reasoning why. If they were to occur during the time that I normally play at, though, I would. Sorry, I got the Alpha secure. It's chilling. We're chilling. Oh my god. All right, we're not chilling. The Alpha did not secure it. It turns out. Watch on Survivor's YouTube. Survivor has a YouTube. Sir Serena, thank you for the follow. Date link it. Oh, hold on, let me permit you. Of course. Seems on Fang. I'm not even over there. That could be really bad if they all die. Nice, they got it. Speed buff, massive. What's up, Fang? Coward. Looking ass. No. 
me that Oblish stack, thank you. Alright guys, we're splitting the map. We got pressure all three lanes. This is an easy 4v5, man. Oh, if that stun hit, I think I kill him. Dude, I can't turn my screen fast enough. How many times are you guys gonna get hit by this combo, dude? <laughs> Jedi, how many times you gotta do it to him like that, dude? They just, they don't know. You can't just do that. You just get double knocked up. Let's get a little poke on the tower. If we get it, that's huge. Okay. Run. Oh, did it time you out? Hold on. There you go. I'll, I'll link it. Subscribers YouTube. There you go. Um. Yeah, stamina makes the most sense. I don't really have a lot of CC. So I'll take the extra regen. Those ships are often ready to I put up, uh, you've seen. Hey, I mean, that's just the way it is sometimes. It, not all of the stuff I put on YouTube is VODs, but like the majority of it is VODs. But there is some stuff that's just not. Like I had some scrims the other day. Where, uh, like, like if I do like a tier list or something like that, and usually it's not on stream. Or like a guide, perhaps. That kind of stuff is like a lot harder to make. Like the non like VOD stuff just because I don't really have the time to make that kind of stuff a lot and I'm like awful at talking when I'm not on stream get Oblist dude the Oblist steel is actually cooking This shit is gas. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. Oh my god, he got the- <laughs> He just died to the office, dude. I didn't even get the dash of him, he just died. It should just be game. I explain what Oblis does. Uh, basically, it enhances your next auto attack to do damage based on your magical power. And then if you hit somebody with it and they die, including minions if they die within three seconds you get one stack each stack is equivalent to one magical power as well as 15 damage on the next proc of your obelisk so it just increases your magical power and then increases the damage that it does every time you stack it then you can activate it every 20 seconds it's just like an